in the last video we discussed how we go about uh, excel we need knowledge of ms excel to prepare financial model uh, we also found established what are the basic milestones in the uh, timeline of a project now in this session i am going to let you know what are the basic uh, important threads in a financial model because a business is a business involves so many different kind of transactions or different aspects that it is difficult to imagine them together on a one piece of paper so we shall prepare different spreadsheets i have attached a link below this video please download that file and open that file uh, there is a way files are prepared i have named this file as retail financial services financial model version 8 date 18 february 2016 preparer's name arun joshi and the purpose that is it shows the sheets so sheets uh, that's how the name is coming so as the date changes or as the purpose changes or as any important change happens you should save the file with a different name so that you don't forget exactly what has happened in which file this is a full proof way of uh, storing the versions of files now you open the file and come to the various tabs that that are there you can see that the first tab is log now this log has nothing to do with mathematics it just me it just means keeping log of what all important changes that you have done in the file so the moment you do a very important change in the file you are supposed to write down the date and the corresponding change in a row in this particular sheet the next is issues what all business issues that are yet to be decided you can write them in this particular sheet rough is for your rough calculations you can and together avoid using calculator by using this rough sheet and also this rough sheet will keep track of what basic rough calculations you had made while taking assumptions in other sheets then assumptions assumptions are assumptions that you made of various kinds in preparation of this financial model this could be assumptions regarding the market regarding the economy regarding the goods or regarding anything else that you have made here so timeline is the timeline uh, as we discussed yesterday you can see here that the cell b3 uh, begins with inception period and similarly all the periods are listed here uh, and you can see uh, that i have again repeated the same you can see that in cell b11 there is a formula equal to b3 and then i have dragged this uh, um, right bottom black plus handle of the excel to cell 16 and those rams have repeated i didn't have to type that repeatedly and i have uh, written the start dates and end dates for each of these periods uh, if you have in the cell c11 uh, 
uh, if you typed something like first march 16 but it didn't appear the way it is appearing in my file in a new file of yours then you need to go to the uh, you, you need to place press control 1 control plus 1 simultaneously and format that as a date even in your uh, home ribbon there is a uh, place there is a block called number in which there it would be written general or a date so you select date from there and uh, a date should come the dates in the western hemispheres begin with month so it is better that we write dates in the form of 1 march 16 and this you can do by uh, pressing control 1 together and selecting the listed format you can later paste the format to every other cell and now here thus for our project we have identified all these phases uh, and their corresponding periods their start dates and end dates see but all the work in this model will happen iteratively every other sheet will give feedback to the previous sheets so there might be additions to the number of items written here there may be the there might be the revisions in the sheet here but you can see here uh, that the <coughs> cell D11 that is the end of inception period is a formula and similarly there are many most other cells most other start and end dates are formulae I have colored which cells are formulae and which cells are not so only those cells that are not formally that you have to uh, punch in the rest will be calculated based on the inputs even in case of formulas very few, few formulae you have to enter yourself the advantage of formula is that they can be dragged later automatically so uh, here comes the end of timeline sheet then I have cash flow sheet cash flow is the gist of the entire Excel uh, calculation and hence it is kept in the beginning uh, you can keep it at the end uh, balance sheet and profit loss account statement ratios all these sheets uh, they sum up the business and hence it is better that they are kept in the beginning because as you change the assumptions or as you change the values in the sheets subsequently at the end of the completion of model you will see that uh, the desired outputs in the sheets are changing accordingly valuations uh, is the way of looking all this business from someone's perspective so the business might be looking in a particular fashion in entirety but from one's own point of view, uh, view you can uh, see what is the valuation of your own stake or what is the valuation of your own stake under certain experimentation or what you would need to pay to get a particular kind of stake in this kind of business uh, what value, value you need to pay etc so for that valuation so these are the output sheets cash flow balance sheet profit loss statement ratios and valuations are the output sheets of a financial model and it's a good practice that you keep them at the beginning then this capital expenditure sheets in brief capex uh, you can independently start understanding what would be the capital expenditure in a project 
capital expenditure is the expenditure till the revenue generator revenue generating operations are undertaken and largely are long term in nature uh, so we will dwell into them in detail later so after you know what are the capital expenditure you need to know what kind of investment you require to carry out those capital in expenditure uh, expenditure so the subsequent sheet is investment sheet the investment is the uh, investment will capture the amount almost equal to the capex or even greater uh, and it will also have the contributions from various uh, stakeholders uh, one of the stakeholder of very distinct nature is the financer that the entity that gives loan to the company or a loan like assistance to the company so i have kept this financing sheet separately because the terms of loan would be complex and they might be need to be calculated uh, separately then then comes this sheet on revenues uh, you need to calculate the demand the calculation of demand of your service or product or work uh, could be complex hence you calculate the quantity of your sales uh, separately in this sheet called demand you may insert an additional sheet called prices if the uh, if it is not very simple and there are very the prices differ as a certain spe specific attribute of the pr the sale differs or it could be very simple price for a very simple good that is being sold so it could be demand then say price and let me insert this uh, price sheet here and let me rename this sheet as price so demand prices revenues demands and prices will give you revenues so once you come to know revenues then there is this sheet of opex opex stand for operating expenditure these are the expenditures that are attributed to the generation of revenue so operating expenditures could be the uh, consumables the manpower expenditures the raw material the regular overheads uh, and that can and sim in similar nature uh, one of the the most important aspects of opex parts of the operating expenditure such as manpower hardware software overhead etc could be again complex and may be requiring separate calculation so you can provide a separate sheet for them depreciation tax are uh, again uh, need to be computed to calculate the profitability we will dwell in detail uh, regarding them later working capital is also one of the thing that needs to be calculated so as of there would be many more aspects depending upon the complexity of the project uh, and what actually i mean saves or mars the project but these are the basic minimum uh, calculations that are required to be done to do a innovative kind of business you can sum these up in less number of sheet or you can do them separately it is better that they are done separately because they can be very easily manipulated and and they can be experimented with 
so here let me talk about the important threads that lead to build up of a financial model the most important threads that lead to the build up of financial uh, model are uh, one is the thread on the capital expenses the other thread is on the revenues the next or third thread is on the operating uh, expenses then one more thread is regarding the tax depreciation etc fifth thread will be on the financing and these threads together when elaborated properly will build up the financial model together and will you will give you the output sheets of the financial model so i know this is too brief but remember that this is just unexplained gist of what a financial model means this can be this will be elaborated elaborated further in my subsequent videos and i'll pick up them one by one but i am giving you a, an overview of how a financial model is built up i'll repeat again you have to have details spreadsheets about all those aspects that are most important most complex highest in value etc in your business and the important independent threads will be the capital expenditure the capital expenditure will in turn tell you what will be the investment required the investment thread it will in turn tell you how much equity investment will be required how much loan or debt investment will be required then the timeline will also tell you at what point of time this will be required the next is revenues in the revenues you will identify what you are going to sell whether it is a good or it is a service either uh, it is or it is a work uh, the accounting standards have their own definition definitions of goods services and works but yeah, you can say that the tangible things like a mouse and a keypad keypad are goods or products something like shaving or giving you a lecture like i am doing are examples of services even taking you from one place to another place uh, by a bus is also a service though it involves a very tangible bus stand a tangible bus but finally when you go home you take home neither of them so it is a service uh, then you in the revenues you need to see the uh, after you for revenues you need to know the quantities for quantities you need to assess the demand of your service product i was going to tell about what is the work work is when a good as well as a, a product as well as a service is required but required in fulfillment of a certain need so if the government asks you to construct and run a hospital then probably it involves uh, uh, proper construction procurement of so much of equipment as well as running it running an hospital would be an operation so that is 
that will be sale of work or a work contract so you have to first identify whether you are going to sell services products or works you have to clearly identify who are the customers for them later you have to see what is the classification of your services and products are they very standard or there is a lot of differentiation between each of them then you have to come up with the price list for them you have to write down the prices for each of the products that you are going to sell and in the demand part you have to compute project the demand for the uh, each of the price, uh, products going forward so once you know what is the demand what is the quantity and what is the rate then you can multiply them accordingly and call that as the revenue corresponding to that particular period of time note that the financial reports that is the annual reports are of companies are very different than financial models because they too have the profit and loss statement balance sheet etc but that is at the most for one or two years it is never there for a prolonged period of 15 years that the kind of thing that we are going to do here so when i mean capital expenses i am going to project the capital expenses of a business that is not there today on the ground for coming 15 years so in that sense a financial model is different the annual reports depict the reality of the past whereas the financial models uh, kind of predict what would be happening in the future and that too for a very long future now i was talking about the um, first thread that is that was the cap i have finished about the first thread that is the capital then the second thread that is the revenue then the third thread is operating expenses well, once you know what you are going to sell and how much you are going to sell where you are going to sell whom you are going to sell etc you would certainly know what kind of manpower you would require what kind of hardware you will require how, how much space you will require whether you will buy it or borrow it how, how much con- how many consumables will be required uh and how, how much maintenance will be required if software is required the license will be <coughs> reco- sir required to be re- renewed every uh, uh every year or every month etc so there will be recurring expenses that can be directly corresponded to the uh revenues uh then then is, there is another thread called overheads when these expenses such as office rent they they can't be attributed to in any one particular sale um the general festivities or the stationery expenses the salary of the staff that doesn't work towards manufacture or sale of any one particular uh the sale is generally that forms part of overheads advertising and marketing expenses also form part of overheads so overhead expenses also can be estimated independently now the capital expenditures expenses and the uh, government's norms on ta depreciation rules etc will give you what is the depreciation the tax laws will give you what is the income tax uh, 
and similarly you can find out most of the information that is required for preparation of the output sheets. So here I take a full stop and let us study each of these, uh, these aspects in detail in the next video. Thank you.